Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this do-it-yourself scented candle and this do-it-yourself glitter candle jar. It's super fun and easy to make and makes a great gift. So the items you'll need for the jar is some painters tape, this sponge, some glitter of your choice, a glass jar which I got at Michael's, scissors, and this Mod Podge. It, this is a matte finish. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the top part and then just um, put the tape around it wherever you want the um, glitter to go or the Mod Podge which I left a little bit of space because I have to put the glass top on it and then what I did is I just kind of tucked it in a little bit and then I made sure and I smoothened out the tape just so that there won't be any bubbles next I put the jar on top of a plate because I was going to be applying glitter then I applied the Mod Podge I only applied one layer and that's really all you need so go ahead and apply it just all over the jar and make sure that you swipe downwards. Like I said before, the reason why I applied this plastic plate underneath is because when you apply the glitter, there will be a lot of fallout. Next, I'm just sprinkling on the glitter on top of the Mod Podge. Don't let it dry, just make sure you apply right after you finish applying the Mod Podge onto your glass jar. And then when you're finished, you're going to want to let it dry for 15 minutes. And once it's dry, you're going to want to remove the tape from the jar. And it's not completely dry, but you can still work with it. Now to make the candle, you're going to need 100% natural soy wax, some candle wicks, and I got these at Hobby Lobby, some oil scents, a label of your choice, some yarn, scissors, a hot glue gun, a pot, and this is where we're going to be boiling the water, a glass jar, and this is where the wax is going to be in. Okay, so the first step that I'm doing is I'm going to hot glue gun the wicks on the jar or inside the jar and I'm applying two of them. You can apply as many as you want, but I'm applying two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be grabbing a couple of pencils and just twisting the wick on it and just placing the pencil on top of the jar and this will prevent it from moving when we are going to be adding the liquid. Now in a pot you're going to put water and you're going to put it to boil and then you're going to add your wax onto the glass jar. And then once the water starts boiling you're going to want to put in your glass jar with the wax in it and then you're going to want to stir it and just make sure that it is completely melted. It has to be down to a liquid. When your wax is completely melted, you can go ahead and take the glass jar out and add your scented oil into the wax. And then add your melted wax inside your jar. And now you can go ahead and let your wax dry. So once it is completely dry, you can go ahead and cut your wick. You can leave about one inch out. So what I did here is I put the cap on and then I grabbed my yarn and I just wrapped it around just to kind of measure how long I want the yarn and then I cut it and then I went back with my label and I just wrote um, with love. Now I am going to tie a knot then I'm going to put in my label and I'm going to tie a bow to it and then you are finished. You can basically add whatever you like just to add the finishing touches. It's all to your preference. I'm sure anything will look nice. And what I did here is I cut just the ends of it just to um, make it look nice and pretty so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys would like to see any more diys please let me know and any other video requests that you guys would like to see please leave them down below as always i love you guys so much bye guys